Hey, welcome back everybody. Sally here. I was going through and cleaning up and I ran across this little journal that I think I was sent from Canvas Core brand a while back and I had done some background pages in here but never really any finished pieces and I happened to get a package from Bare Minerals um, with new makeup in it the other day and the whole package inside the box was wrapped in this cool paper and it just says be natural be good be original and I thought wow that's really cool you know me I use everything up so um, that came to this down to the studio so when I found this the cover was it was white and pretty dirty so I just covered it with a piece of that paper and I had to have the paper going this way because it perfectly fit that way so I think what I want to do and I've only dedicated journals in the past to um, like sketchbook type journals where it's just all faces because I practice faces on a daily basis and so I have those journals going but I also got a happy mail package the other day from Karen Bradley with some more really cool napkins in it and I thought you know what I think I'm gonna just do napkin backgrounds or something to do with napkins and fill this journal with that stuff so I'm gonna start today so stay tuned I'll be back and show you what I'm gonna do okay I just chose a couple of napkins with fun designs I feel like summer's almost over and it's my favorite season I like fall too but I really enjoy the summertime and I think bright colors and fun patterns are just fun and I don't use them real often in my art so I thought this was a good opportunity to pay a goodbye homage to summer and use these napkins so this napkin I just tore out the big paisley pieces and then these fun drink ones I think I'm going to put on the side and that's where I'm going to start and I'm just going to put this down with some matte medium and I'll be back. We'll speed this up. This is just a background that I was playing with quite a while ago really um, just with some new metallic sprays that I had I think just to see what they would do and how they would combine with each other. So I'm just going over top of this. Most of it will get covered up. was that this would be enough in the background but I'm second guessing myself and I'm just going to put down some of these extra pieces that were left over from these napkins because I I want more of this pattern and color in the background
Okay, I used everything that I had um, from both of these napkins. I like this better as a first layer. I'm just going to dry it off. I'll be back. Okay, this is all dry. And I have just taken some clear glazing medium. I have the Josanya brand, which is almost gone. This is um, the clear. And I have a persimmon acrylic paint. And I'm just going to mix those two together on my mat for a pretty transparent, juicy color. And I think I'm just going to go around the edges here. And I'm just going to blend it onto the page with my finger. I want to still see that napkin pattern. And I want to catch some of those wrinkles and pick up that texture. We don't necessarily want all that shininess. I've covered most of it up, but it wasn't ever intended to be an actual background. I was just playing with medium there. A little more glazing liquid in there. And as usual, you guys, I have no idea where this is going or where I'm going with this. Um, I just kind of go a step at a time and work intuitively and after this step then I'll kind of reassess and make my next decision <laughs> as to what I'm going to do next. Also as per usual I'm in here with my fingers because Kind of how I roll, you guys, you know that. Just got to get my fingers in it. Fingers are great tools. I really think that's why God gave me mine. Okay. I like that. I'm going to dry that. Clean my hands. I had a thought, while I have, still have, some of this coral paint on my mat, I'm just going to add some water to it and put a few splatters across here. I just have a kind of a stiff brush. Give me some rather large... paint spatters just to kind of bring the brightness back a little bit and use up the paint because yeah I know I'm all about using everything up one way or another and some of it will get covered up anyway so it's all good makes a mess but it's all good Alright, this is all dry, and in thinking about where I wanted to go next, I knew I wanted to put some sort of a character on here and then build it from there, and I just doodled this girl on the back of an envelope, um, 
So I think I'm going to cut her out and put her on here. I'll maybe cut her off here. So I'm going to do that. So she's just laying in the drawer. So all I'm doing is relocating her. Okay, I'm going to cut her out. I'll be well, it's definitely Monday. I hit time lapse on my camera without realizing it. So I did cut her out and glued her to that left hand page. And now I'm just using kind of a blue green acrylic to just go around her and have her stand out a little bit more and just spreading it across the pages a bit to get a cohesiveness going in the colorway between the two sides of the spread. And then just wiping some back a little bit with a wet baby wipe. And then I just watered down and added some white to the coral that was left and kind of gave her a little more color. And now I'm stamping for the birds by Fiskars, that stamp set, onto both of the pages. And at the end, I just took my black pit pens and did some further embellishing, adding some branches and kind of bringing everything together. And then stamped Hello Friend underneath the character. So that's it.